Okay, this time we're going to look at actually choosing power supplies um, and uh, basically how we can look at these. Now we know that we've got these ratings that we can look at power supplies in. Um, I could ask you, hey, find a power supply that's platinum that meets this spec specs. Or I could just say um, the calculated is this. Um, which power supply would be the best. So let's take a look at that option first. So if I give you the calculated wattage of 258, you would say that the um, minimum would be 300 because 258 rounds up to 300. And then 350 would be our recommended. So the first thing is that we'd only be looking at power supplies that are 350 watts or more. So when you follow the links, and you'll have links to three to uh, three or four different power supplies. That's the first check is which ones are 350 or more. And then if I said which one's the best, it would be the one with the highest rating. I could also ask you what's the least expensive one that I could buy for this, in which case you just look at price. So those are the only two ways to do that. If I go and look and say I want to shop for power supplies here, um, I obviously want to look only at ATX power supply, so I'm going to click there, and I'm going to apply that, and that's going to remove all the power supplies that aren't ATX. Then I can go and say, hey, uh, if I wanted you to find one, you can see it goes all the way down, and most of these are 50 watt increments. However, there's some outliers. There's obviously one that's 305. There's a couple that's two. 280, 275, but in general, the vast majority of these are that. So I could say 350, and anything above that within reason. And we said 250 is the max additional. So I'm going to click those. I'm even going to say I'll look at the 700 watt power supply and hit apply. Now I'm looking at all the power supplies that fit into that category and any of these would be acceptable except for this one this doesn't look like a true ATX power supply I wouldn't be getting this flex ATX I'm not sure why that came up in our search uh, then I can search by rating by price by reviews so if I was set to say what's the lowest price one I could find uh, that's not one there is the first ATX one uh, image coming soon let's see Oh, there is an image. Okay, so that is obviously an ATX power supply, and it's 500 watts, and it's $37. Let's see what the 400 watt one costs. The exact same price. Why would I do that? Um, and then to find out if, it, if it's acceptable, you would want to go and look at what cabling methods are available for this particular power supply. So when I go down here, we know it's a 500 watt ATX power supply. It's got a 20 plus four pin P1 connector. Um, it's got two SATA power connectors. It's got nothing for video cards here. Um, and if we look down here, it's got three other peripherals. I would assume those are the Molex ones that we hook up to the fans. It's going floppy drive connector and it's got the additional P4 power connector that we need for our other motherboard. So that's just how I could find possibly the least expensive one that falls into my category. If I wanted to find the um, best rated one, I could do that. But finding the most efficient, I'm not going to ask you to do that because then you would have to literally go through, well, let's look down here. You'd have to go through four, four pages of power supplies, and I would never do that to you to make you try to find which one's rated the highest. I'll give you actual links to power supplies, and you just pick the one that's rated the highest. So this one has the highest rating right here. It is a 300-watt power supply. We needed 350. I'm not sure why this is on our list. This is a 400-watt one. That would be a four... That's five eggs, five eggs. I, by the way, when I look at ratings and I see only two or one person has rated it, that's really hard for me to accept that rating. However, this one, 249, booyah. There's a nice power supply, 650 watts, gold-plated, certified, full modular with all kind of modularity there. And if we went down, 
we'd have a great choice of cables, I am sure. Once I get down there, maybe. Where's the cable list? Well, I don't see it. It must just be in the pictures. Are we going to get it in the pictures? I do not see it in the pictures either. It's got to be in the text. You can't make a modular power supply and then not tell people what the modules are that come. Oh, maybe I should be going to specs here. There we go. So we've got our P124 pin. It is 24. It's not a 2024. That's fine. Most new ones are. I've got uh, our CPU connectors right here. I've got four peripherals, two or four PCIe's for up to two video cards and another SATA connect seven SATA connectors that's a great power supply for just about any unit that fits in that wattage okay well good luck you basically you're just going to go through and take a look at those and make sure giving the numbers that you can pick out the one that best fits that good luck